is another key bit when you're designing a conversation is the generation. One of the things that makes Alexa so frustrating is that if you ask Alexa to turn your bedroom light on and it says, sorry, that device doesn't work. And then you ask it again, it says, sorry, that device doesn't work. And it will keep doing that. And that's not how people speak. You have to say, sorry, that doesn't work. No, it's broken, mate. Yeah, still not working. No, no, you're really going to have to try something else. That's going to be a lot less frustrating than having it just repeat the same line over and over. But getting that natural language generation that has all the variations that you get in conversation is very important. Then it's having that context. It's knowing who the speaker is and how we can go through that, getting the accents and everything right. And really, where this all comes together, I think, is going to be in conversational customer service. Because in conversational customer service, and this is why it's been the big focus for Webio, is that you start with doing an IDMB. Whenever somebody starts a conversation, you have to confirm where they are. And that means that we already have a bit of that context. Um, it also means you get additional contextual information through a CRM, through a debt management system, through whatever systems they have that are containing that customer information. And then what you can do is you can also work out what their intent is because it's quite easy when somebody's calling, especially somebody calling a customer service, whether it's about debt or something else, very quickly becomes apparent what it is that they're looking for. So that means that you can build these conversational bricks and you can test these conversational bricks around very specific outcomes.